Today we have a uh, fairly neglected rubber roof on an RV tra uh, travel trailer. So we're going to need to do some heavy cleaning on this thing and try to protect it. It's still got a little bit of life in it, but it definitely needs to be looked at and cared for. A standard uh, soap and water isn't going to fix this one today. So today we're going to be doing a heavy duty scrub with a power washer. Starting out with uh, the Dicor rubber roof cleaner. It's a really easy product to use. Uh, just follow directions. I think they're on the back. I use a sprayer with it. Let's take a look at those directions. Uh, freeze frame. Ah, look at that. Basically wash it and then uh, spray this stuff on the roof and then scrub it off. So that's what I'm going to do first because that uh, power washer is so loud. Wouldn't make any sense for me to have a microphone on. So I'm just doing the voiceover today for that. So right now you can see I'm power washing this thing and that staining is not coming off. Uh, when you're power washing a rubber roof, you don't want to get the nozzle too close to that rubber roof. You will tear it. You will erode the white layer off completely. So do take some care in doing this. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that that brown stain ain't coming off. There's a lot. I I, I think that's just uh, about five or seven years of desert dirt that just got kind of like stuck in the rubber roof. I'll do a few close-ups on it where you can kind of see the the roof itself almost looks scaly. Like a, I don't know, like a lizard or, I don't know, a fish. So once you're done rinsing it off, you're going to go to the next step. Again, that stain rem uh, persists, I guess you could say. Uh, you can see some of that white material that's flaked off onto there. You'll see a whole heck of a lot more of it. Now, before I go to actually clean this rubber roof, I need to make sure that I can clean all of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that refrigerator vent off, the AC shroud off, come to the back I'm gonna go inside crank up the roof antenna or the TV antenna back there and then adjust the radio antenna so I can get underneath there so back to those directions we're, what we're gonna do is uh, pour the cleaner into the uh, the sprayer right there uh, undiluted and then we're gonna spray it liberally on the roof we've already pre rinsed it that'll help it uh, I guess uh, interact with the rubber roof a little bit better <laughs> Uh, you can use a a bigger uh, like one gallon sprayer if you wanted to, even a spray bottle. You could use a mop if you wanted to. There's no real wrong way of putting it on the roof. This just is easiest for me. So I'm just gonna spray it liberally on there, this entire roof. But I'm gonna do it in sections. Otherwise, uh, you know, it'll just dry too fast in the sun. Also, be careful. It is quite slippery up there. You can see it's doing a pretty good job on some of the stains, but uh, underneath that TV antenna. It's still a little bit stubborn. I think what I ended up having to do a few times is uh, do a couple different uh, treatments on there. And here you go with the uh, pressure washer. Again, trying to keep it a little bit of distance from it. This is my test pass to see how how much work we were going to have to put into this. And that's what I discovered I have to do uh, at least two uh, two passes on this. Luckily, you guys don't have to do this. I'm just gonna uh, see if we can get even closer. See, if you can kind of feel how bumpy that is. But here you go. There's uh, the second pass. We're looking a lot better now. Definitely a lot cleaner. So there's a big difference between where it's cleaned and where it hasn't been cleaned. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on. But if you kind of see it, again, I'm trying to get a better angle on that so you can see how scaly it looks. And the the white is designed to to chalk and protect the rubber, the black rubber that's underneath it. So that's what's actually coming off. But yeah, it's definitely making a big mess all over me and the ground and everywhere else. So here we are. I found uh, the sweet spot on this pressure washer and on the, the roof on this one. So I, I think I didn't want to get too close, but also you want to make sure it looks good and it's cleaned. Because after all this, I'm mean, I actually did reseal the roof. I peeled off all the old sealant. And that obviously made it a lot better for the sealant to stick to that rubber roof. About halfway, a little over halfway done. Maybe two thirds of the way done. Just a little bit to go. Uh, <laughs> and then of course, after I finished scrubbing this, I did put a, a UV protectant back on. It's just a wipe on uh, uh, chemical comes in about the same container. It's really easy to put on. Again, you just mop it on like you normally would. 
But this has worked out pretty well. Uh, I haven't actually cleaned a roof this bad in a really long time. Really quite pleased with the way it turned out. The only bad thing I would probably say, I'll save for the end of the video here, but it looks great, doesn't it? If you, uh, I almost looks like from this side, a uh, brand new roof. Uh, we'll look from the front side too. Night and day, fantastic. But it does make a mess down below. <laughs> So here's the shop. You can see the shop floor. It just looks like it started snowing here or somebody has really bad dandruff. Uh, <laughs> as I walk further, you'll see the, the water down below is like a milky white. It's making puddles of, uh, of flakes everywhere. And so you can imagine if that's what the ground looks like. <laughs> what do you think the side of the, uh, the trailer looks like? Uh, so let's take a look at that because guess what I'm going to have to do after all this? Not only do I have to clean a roof, reseal the roof, and treat it, now I have to clean the trailer itself. I 